Hello there, my name is Dustin Farr and I'm with AgriPlow Canada. Uh, I'm currently standing in a field of a producer uh, north and east of Airdrie, Alberta, who used the agro drill to sow in uh, canola, Roundup Ready canola, into uh, an old Timothy stand, uh, just trying to um, you know, run some annual crops in through the land and then it'll eventually get seeded back to grass. But uh, just wanted to kind of give you a tour. This, uh, I'll flip yeah, the camera around the, here. Uh, the drill pattern there, and if we, that was the outside round over here, and if we span over here, or uh, move over here, you can actually see the rows from the agro drill, and, uh, and then we can get, you know, a lot closer in and, and, and look at exactly what's emerging and how it's coming up. Uh, this, of course, was a was an old Timothy stand that had been sprayed out and uh, producer came in here direct seeded with the agro drill uh, didn't work up the pasture didn't work up anything just went right in with uh, Roundup Ready canola seed as well as uh, seed placed fertilizer and of course you can uh, you can see exactly how it's worked uh, we're getting you know we're getting excellent emergence and um, an establishment on our canola and we're going to continue to watch this piece of ground for, uh, you know, we had some frost events that uh, damaged a couple of these, uh, you know, smaller canola seedlings. Um, that would be one there that that has been, you know, damaged a little bit. You can see some yellowing and some some curling up of the leaves. Um, but overall, uh, you know, a good seeding job done here. Uh, probably seeded about that four to five pounds per acre, and. Uh, and of course, yeah, getting getting really good stand establishment here. And uh, this has been in the ground for oh, maybe two weeks, but we have had some cooler weather. Like I said, some frost damage on stuff. So that has definitely uh, slowed things down a little bit. But, uh, you know, majority of these plants now are at the uh, probably two to three leaf stage. Not a in whole there. heck of a lot of, of weed issues in this piece of land. If the producer were to have broken it up, um, you'd probably see a lot more... Uh, dandelions, broadleaf weeds coming up in this crop just because of uh, just because of having worked it up and, and disturbed that weed seed bed and then and then of course you'd be dealing with a whole other beast uh, trying to trying to get rid of those broadleaf just, weeds. Just came over this patch here that is um, that is straight black dirt and this is obviously um, you know had some molehills and, and gopher mounds and stuff knocked down from it but um, you know this is this is what you'd see if you had straight black dirt uh, having worked up that seed bed you're gonna get you're gonna get all these weeds that are gonna start popping up with your with your plants and of course that's just a, you know that's just an added extra cost as opposed to the areas where it where it hasn't been worked and you get over here and of course there's you know there's there's little to no disturbance uh, with the agro drill so it's really um, it's really come in and not giving you those weed issues when you when you just direct seed it in that's just another added benefit of being able to go directly into a, a existing stand um, another perfect example here where we see um, you know black dirt and this is the kind of weed population that is that exists in that soil profile that we would be dealing with if um, if we had worked this whole piece of land up. So this just gives you an example of what is out there that uh, you can actually prevent getting all these weeds coming up um, by not having worked that land and you can essentially um, you know avoid all these weed issues uh, and when you when you just direct seed in plus all the other added benefits of the agro drill of course uh, moisture conservation and I mean just cost of running over that land uh, you know three to four times to create an adequate seed bed and to, of course we've got uh, you know we got the old stand here which is uh, which you can you can see all the rows behind me uh, and and just you know exactly the level of disturbance that happens with an agro drill and um, and what happens when you do disturb it of course with those with those weeds that are on the ground here um, and and what you can you know the problems you can run into um, these are all these are all added benefits of not having to work that land up and uh, be able to direct seed in. So yeah, just uh, just another example, and uh, and we're gonna we're gonna continue to monitor this crop and 
and see how it uh, how it progresses. Uh, so. Uh, Thanks for thanks for taking a peek out here. Uh, like like I said again, we're we're northeast of Airdrie, Alberta, looking at canola that has been knifed into into uh, an old Timothy stand. So that's that's how things are going out here.